Okay, this video is on time constants for RL circuits. An RL circuit is a circuit that has a resistor and an inductor in series with one another, and it can either be a battery or not be a battery. If there is a battery, it's probably growing the current, and if it's um, if there is not a battery, then it's the current is probably decaying. Okay, so in the last two videos, um, if the current is growing, we were given um, this equation that I is going to be equal to some final I um, minus some final I times E to the negative R over L T. So this is this is a growth graph. It's a it's approaching an asymptote. So it's this is doing this. It's approaching E over R. And this is a growth this is an I versus time graph. Okay, if it's a decaying graph then you get a different one. Okay, now um what the time constant is going to be then is I'm going to I'm going to talk about a very specific time, the time of L over R. So our time constant is going to we're going to designate with a with a fancy T or a tau really. And this and this time constant it's not going to be RC like the RC circuit was. It's going to be L over R and you'll see why it's L over R. Look what happens when for time I put in L over R. Oh my gosh, when you put in L over R, sure enough, the I at one time constant, the I at one time constant is going to be E over R minus E over R times E. And now if I put in one, one and for T I put in L over R, I'm going to get this. Those cancel out. And I'm left with this. Okay, well, um, that's the same thing as if, let me, let me factor out the E over R. That's the same thing as 1 minus 1 over E. Now E is about 3. It's 2.7 and keeps going forever. And so it's about 3. And so we have 1 minus 1 third. So that's, that's going to be 2 thirds. So after one time constant, after one time constant, we'll have 2 thirds of our, of our final current. Now it's not really two thirds. If you do this out, it's not 0 0.67. It's 0 0.63 when you put in the real E for that. It's 0 0.63 of your final. So if I go um, down here and go to, if I just go to um, one time constant, then when I go up and over, I won't be at the final, but I'll be at 0 0.63 of the final. That will be the time constant. Okay. Uh, that that will be the value after one time constant. Okay, if it's a decay graph, it's even a little more simple than that. Our decay graph looks something like this. If you'll remember, it's I initial e to the r over l times t. <coughs> Excuse me. And so, um, if I put in if after one time constant, the I after one time constant, if I do that, if it equals, uh, it's going to equal I naught times E to the negative rolling or W or R over L. And for T, I'm going to put in since the time constant is R over, is L over R. See how that works out? You're going to get, this is going to be just negative one. And so that's going to equal after one time constant. It's going to be equal to um, I naught e to the negative one, or I naught over e. Now I naught over e is like one third of the of the initial current. So 
here's the point. This decays, and if you ask me how long it would take to decay to zero, I tell you it would take an, an infinite amount of time, mathematically at least. It says it's going to take an infinite amount of time. Okay, now, um, but here's the thing, is that um, if you if I told you the time constant was a certain value, then you would know that after one time constant, after just one time constant, if you go o up and over, you will be at I naught over E, or that's about 0.37 of I naught. So this is this is about, it's not um, a third, but it's about 0.37. So this is 0.37 I naught. Okay, let me belabor this point a little bit more. And tell you then that if you do have a circuit like this, with an R and an L, with an, a resistance and an inductor, and let's say the resistance is um, 10 ohms and the inductor is um, 0.02 Henry's. I didn't leave myself enough space, but that's 0.02 Henry's. Then, um, sure, if you want to know um, just how long, like when you close this circuit, what's going to happen is the current is going to build up. And maybe you want to know, well, how fast will it take to, to get to its final value? <clears throat> how long will it take to get to the final? And I tell you, well, it's going to take forever. But um, but if you want to know how long it's going to take to get to two-thirds, about two-thirds of its final value, then all I have to do is um, just take its L over R. The time constant is L over R. So it's going to be um, 0.02 Henry's divided by 10 ohms. So that's going to be 0.002 seconds. There's a homework problem that will ask you to convert Henry's over ohms to seconds. See if you can do that. But um, so after 0.002 seconds, it will be to two thirds of its value. So just go down 0.002 seconds, and it will be about two thirds of its value. Okay, so that's what the time constant is all about. All right, we'll see you in the next video.